mistake. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another tech tip. Today we're going to talk about taking screenshots. Now a screenshot is essentially a picture of what's on your computer screen. Now this can be super useful for, let's say, saving a confirmation number if you've ordered something online or completed some kind of online registration. Well, you can take a quick screenshot of that confirmation number and save it in your records. It's also really useful if you get some kind of error code that pops up on your computer if something's gone wrong. You can take a screenshot of that error code so you can show it to tech support or a repair shop or whatever uh, when the time comes. So screenshots are a great way to quickly save information off of your computer screen. So today we're going to look at taking a screenshot on both a Mac and a PC. So let's jump right into it. In Windows 10, we've got a tool called Snip and Sketch, which will allow us to take a screenshot in a variety of ways. To activate Snip and Sketch, I simply need to press Shift, Windows key S all together, and then this box pops up on the top of the screen, which gives us four different ways to take a screenshot. We've got a rectangular snip, which allows you to draw a rectangle, and anything inside of that rectangle becomes a screenshot. The free form is the same idea, but you can draw a free form shape instead of a rectangle. The window snip will capture any application window, and the full screen snip will capture your entire screen. The difference between the window snip and the full screen is window snip will allow me to take, let's say, just my Chrome window. But if I have multiple windows open on my desktop, and I use the full screen snip, it will get both of those windows. So let's take a look at how the rectangular snip works. I'm on the Digital Arts Experience website, and let's say I want to screenshot a section of this screen. Well, I click and drag. I'm just going to pick a random shape here, random section. And now that's saved. I've taken a picture and essentially copied it, just like you would go to edit and copy. So if I, for example, jump over to an email and hit control V, which is paste, it will paste this screenshot into this email. I could do the same in a Google Doc. I could do the same thing in a Word file. If this was a screenshot that I wanted to save for later, I can come over to my little notification box here on the bottom right and click on the screenshot and it will open it up in the sketch part of Snip and Sketch. This will allow me to mark up the screenshot with a bunch of different methods. I can draw over it, I can use a ballpoint pen, I can use a pencil, I can use a highlighter, so on and so forth. I can crop the image, or I can simply save it to my files, to my documents, to my desktop, whatever. Now let's quickly go back and take a look at the full screen screenshot option. So I'm gonna hit Shift, Windows key S to activate Snip and Sketch. I'm going to select the full screen snip, and it's taken an image of my entire screen. Now, if I go to that image, uh, you'll notice I have two images. That's because I have two monitors and it's taken an image of both of my monitors. By comparison, if I come back here and I hit Shift Windows key S and select the um, window snip, I can click on this screen and it just takes a picture of this screen here. So once again, it's saved to my clipboard. If I jump over to an email and control V for paste, it will paste that entire image into my email. And if I wanna save that, I can come over here and click on it, mark it up if I'd like, and save it with the little save icon. If you're on a Mac and you wanna take a screenshot, we can do that two ways. We can hit Shift, Command, Three, and that takes a screenshot. And I don't know if you heard, there was a little camera sound in the background there, and that saves a screenshot. And it shows up on the bottom right corner here, and I'll show you in a moment where it saves that screenshot. If I wanna do a rectangular snip, I simply hit Shift, Command and the number four, and then I get this little crosshair on my screen, and I can click and drag and highlight a section of that screen and save it as a screenshot. And again, it shows up down here. So once you've taken your screenshot, all you need to do is find the files is go to your desktop. Screenshots are automatically saved to the desktop with the name screenshot and then the date and time. So if we open these up, here was my first screenshot and here is my second screenshot. So as you can see, taking a screenshot is a piece of cake. Just a quick keyboard shortcut and you've captured a section of your screen or your entire screen. So that's gonna be it for today. As always, hit that subscribe button. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon and we release tons of other awesome content on our YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe. And uh, visit the DAE.com for our list of private lessons and online workshops and everything else that we offer. And thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.